Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a little haul and kind of talking to you about some lifestyle changes that I've made recently. So um, lately I got myself a gym membership and it's something that I've really wanted to get back into doing for a very long time. I actually hadn't stepped into a gym since like 2009, I believe. So it's been quite a while since I've actually went to a gym. Usually when I want to get into shape, I usually do it at home. I have a yoga and Pilates DVD that I had put in from time to time and I love it and I still use it and I probably still will use it but now that I have a gym membership it's a lot easier for me to go and use like weights and other things so that I can get toned better and you know it's just something that was really needed in my situation. I do have some things coming up that do require me to get into shape and I'll talk about those later but today I'm just doing a haul that's just mainly fitness oriented just because of the fact that um, I've just gotten to a gym and I realized I had zero workout stuff other than yoga pants and maybe some tank tops which honestly are fine to use um, if you're going to the gym but personally I wanted like better clothing that had material designed to like make you sweat or to lock in and absorb the sweat, things like that. Um, I also needed to get a gym bag and I also needed to get something to hold um, my phone in so that I could listen to music and that's not going to be in the haul today. I might haul it later but I just purchased these items. And I also needed shoes because the running shoes that I had were so worn and they just weren't acceptable for the gym plus they were really dirty so I I really needed to get something but I found some really great deals at a place called Gordman's which I believe is all around the US I'm not really sure but um, they are like a Burlington Coat Factory slash Marshalls type of place they have a lot of great things for really great prices so I did get quite the deal on all this stuff that I probably would have paid an arm and a leg for on Amazon or just probably anywhere else. Now before I even get into this haul, I have to comment and say that fitness gear is freaking atrocious. Like, not atrocious as in what it looks like, but the price of things. Like really, people are paying like 50 bucks for a tank top? I don't understand and honestly, I would never pay that much for something I'm gonna sweat in so I'm really happy and fortunate to find these things and happy enough to you know not break the bank so I also do have a couple things that aren't like fitness related but clothing stuff but anyways um, the first thing like I mentioned is I wanted shoes I had looked up and up, down on Amazon uh, looking for shoes that would work well and I'm glad to say that I did find some while I was at Gordman's even though their sizing there is just I don't know probably was just the store because they were really unorganized they didn't really have much stock but when it came to looking for decent gym shoes I was just like getting so frustrated because I just could not take being in that store looking up and down for my size and I mean they did have the ones that I really really wanted but the thing was is that these shoes were like sixty seventy dollars and go figure you know I mean they're really nice but the ones on Amazon that I had picked out were also around the same price range so I mean give or take it was one of the two places I would have bought them from but then I noticed that they had a um, section for clearance for shoes and I was just getting so frustrated because I have really large feet. I wear a size 11 and I can usually push my feet into a 10. It just really depends on the make and style of the shoe. So I found me some Pumas on sale that I am just, I'm really happy with. So these shoes were originally, I believe like 60 bucks, but I'll tell you the price in a minute. So these are what they look like. They're nothing really special. They are really breathable shoes, which is great because my feet do sweat a lot. Um, it's probably coming up as like a, 
like maybe a navy blue, but um, it's actually gray mesh and then with black on it. And these are really, really nice. They feel very lightweight and they are very comfortable, which I like. They have nice grips on them. I mean, it's everything I could have asked for. And the price was something I just could not pass up and the only one in my size for that matter. So like I said, these were like $60 shoes, but I ended up getting these for $22.48. Like, you see that? How awesome is that? Like, I was blown away. Like, I would have never probably found these elsewhere for that great of a price. I don't really live by many discount shoe places. And actually, I had to travel out of my way just to look for stuff like this. But um, I'm really happy that I found these. These are really nice shoes. They're very comfortable. And I can't wait to put them to work. So the next stuff is clothing. The first thing I got is um, these really nice capri style, they're like yoga pants in a way, but these are more for fitness. So they have these really cool like smoke designs on them or splatters, maybe tie dye almost. I don't know. Um, but as far as I know about these, they have like a little like pocket to put your key in, which kind of baffled me a little bit. I mean, it, you could stick some stuff in here, I guess. But um, what I like about them is that they have a little mesh line right here. So they are very breathable. They're very stretchy, very comfortable to wear. Um, honestly, with fitness wear, I've noticed that if you're going to, in terms of sizes, look for your size, um, I guess it depends. It, it, I guess it really depends on the style or the brand, but from what I noticed that if you're thinking about getting like pants especially, you want to size down. Um, usually I buy like a, an XL or maybe an L. I usually buy maybe an XL or a large depending on, you know, the material of things, but I'm happy to say that I got these in a large and they fit perfect. So, I mean, I don't know in the next, like, six months or so if they'll hold up or if, you know, they become too baggy, but I didn't pay too much for them. These are originally, like, $30 pants, but I only got them for $12.99, so that is a steal. And they are really, really cute. I love these. So, cannot wait to go and run around in those. Alright, so the next thing I got is a, like, sports bra. You could just wear this with your pants and call it a day, or you could wear this under a tank top, which is what I'm planning to do because I'm not really cool with the whole crop style with my body at the moment. But I thought this was just pretty cool. Um, it's just like a blackish, bluish color, um, and it has a crisscross in the back, which is really cool. You probably can't see it, or maybe like a keyhole style, I should say. See? <laughs> um... This is by the brand Head, and um, these are originally 20 bucks, and at Gordman's they are $9.99, but I only got these for 7 bucks. And again, with tops for fitness wear, I usually size down. Um, I ended up just getting a large, because usually I wear an XL in like tank tops and stuff. It, it really depends, but... I decided to get in a large and it was a little snug but it's gonna serve its purpose so yay for clearance sportswear the next is another pair of pants which are super 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 cute they are from Fila and they are blue with like a snakeskin print I absolutely love these these are just long nice like yoga style pants these are really good for like colder days, like if you're going to go out for a run, maybe in the fall. Um, I think this has the same concept with the keyhole, <laughs> which again, baffles me, but it's pretty cool to have, I guess, if you need to put something there. Um, these are originally $40 pants. Like, oh my God, who spends $40 on a pair of fitness pants? You're just going to sweat in them. You're probably going to lose weight and they won't fit anymore. 
Um, but luckily, their price was $19.99 for these. Then they dropped down on clearance for $13, and then they dropped again to $8. So I only got these puppies for 8 bucks. That is a good deal. So there's that. And then I ended up just getting this tank top because I just thought it was really cute. It's inside out, but you can get the idea from it. It's just basic black, nothing fancy which I don't think I'm going to wear when I'm running around. I'm probably just going to tuck it into a skirt or something. And that was, and this was only $8.99. Um, originally it's $18 or $18.99, but got that for a deal. And then um, the last thing I got from Gordman's is this pair of running shorts or fitness shorts from Pony is the brand. Um, one thing I never understood with like fitness shorts is that they have like an underwear lining inside which I guess is designed so you don't have to wear underwear but I don't really like that idea so I mean I wear thong underwear FYI even though it is a little bit of a TMI. Um, so, I mean, wearing that with long underwear, it doesn't make that much of a difference, but I just don't like my cooch touching, you know, something that isn't really underwear-like to me, but, um, these were really cool. They're, they had all different kinds of colors, mostly, like, black with whatever color lining all around. Um, these were originally $16. Actually, the manufacturing price is $28, but their price is $16. Um, okay, so the original price is $28, and then when they're shipped to a Gorman store, um, they say their price, which was $16, but these are only $7.99. So if you're looking for really good, cheap gym shorts, Gordman, Gordman's is the place. And the nice thing about this is that they have a dry wick fabric, which I'm not really sure about fitness terms, but I'm guessing it has something to do with the fact that if you sweat, it'll dry nice and easy, and yeah, these are really nice, and they have a lot of room to them. So there's that for fitness. Um, the last thing that I got was from a, the last thing I got was from The Buckle. I only got one thing, but it was a funny shirt that I couldn't pass up. And um, it says, <laughs> I like long romantic walks to the bar. And um, my boyfriend is a bartender. He owns a bar, so that's why it was kind of funny. Oh, and the last thing I guess is fitness related. I almost forgot. Um, I went to the Goodwill. The Goodwill opened up in my area and I was looking through their fitness stuff. I've been really on a kick to find stuff and I found this cute shirt or top to wear for running and whatnot. And this is so cute. It's got like this really like Zen vibe to it. Like I bet this would be for like yoga or something. But it has a built-in bra, so you can see it's got the cups. And they, they are removable, so I mean you can wash them and wash it and it'll be fine. It's very, very nice material, very stretchy. It's so comfortable. I tried it on. Um, but this was originally 49 bucks. This is a fucking $50 shirt from Kohl's. And I only paid $5.99 for it, so that was a steal. So anyways... That is it. Um, if you guys are into looking for fitness wear, definitely check out um, discount places such as Gordman's or Burlington or Marshall's because those are the places that you're going to find really nice fitness wear that's not going to really affect your wallet. I mean, I'm all about shopping and living the cheap life. If I can spend as less as possible, that's great to me. Um, so if you guys are looking, check those places. Also, what are you all doing for fitness stuff? Um, if you are active and like to run or go to a gym, what do you guys do? Let me know and I will see you later. Bye guys.